was able to get you over that concern of like, I don't want to be on camera. And now you have, you're on camera frequently. Yeah. I think it just comes down to the mission, the end goal. And uh, the end goal that I have for, for my brand and, and my business is to get more attention, right? Like you need attention in order to get business, right? So one way to get attention is video, right? Another way to get attention is written copy. Another way is a podcast, right? So like, these are all just channels to get attention. And um, that's, that's where the podcast comes into play. And then I also knew from enough other you know people in my network, you know, one thing that was very powerful and I didn't realize really realize it until I got further along in the podcast game and I started to get on more podcasts. Like this is probably like, you know, the 50th episode, um, 50th time I've been a guest on a show is like, dude, you get better at speaking. You get better taking what's in your head and getting it out there. How many times do we find ourselves like, man, like I can't really put this in the words or like I'm having a hard time conveying this message, or I'm having a hard time saying what I really mean. And that just comes down to communication skills. And I know I'm a far better speaker and I can articulate my words way better today than six months ago. Right. And a big reason is because between all of the episodes I've been on and and been a host of like, you know, probably over almost a hundred episodes. Right. So like a hundred times I've had to get on a mic and and talk about myself or ask questions. So you just get past all that. And it's just like going to the gym, right? You just start putting in the reps and you just get better and stronger at it. Same thing on camera. You know, I went through this struggle a couple of years ago when um, I'd never been on camera before, you know, I was, I've been a phone sales guy and, and for a long time and I could do leadership meetings and company meetings and in person, no problem. Cool. I get in front of a camera I'm like, and I just had to keep getting in front of a camera. And I had to get past the whole, oh shit, the lights are on, the camera's on. Who cares, right? It's just a freaking camera. So you just get past a lot of that. You said it earlier. We all have an imposter syndrome. For me, it was like, man, I don't like the way my voice sounds. Man, I don't like the way I look on camera. And it's just like, dude, like get over it. Like your job isn't to critique how you look or how you sound. Your job is to impact other people. And if you focus more on other people and the message you're going to deliver and stop being selfish and worrying about you and how you you sound and how you feel about the way you sound, then you'll start caring more about the other person. And that's what it's about. It's about how can you take your words and impact someone else and give that someone else a solution to their problems or a way to help them think a little bit differently to get a better result. 